Ooh, listen to that sizzle. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. It's one of the most delicious Labor Day traditions in Northeast Ohio, many, almost anywhere. And here with details about the 2019 St. Rocco's Festival are Louise Raffin and Renee Cerny. How are you ladies? Good. Great to be here. Good. Getting ready for Very the big good. weekend here. Yeah. So, so what do you got yeah. sizzling over here? Well, right now we have the, the, uh, the peppers and onions mm -hmm. getting ready for the sausage sandwich. And I have the lasagna that we, um, Put together okay, in so, the so St. Rocco's, it's this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday. Sunday. Yep, and right? Monday. And Monday. Whoa, that's a great one because it's Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, and this is a lot of Italian food, but it's a Ukrainian festival also, right? No, we are no? all Italian. All Italian. It started way back when... I, I think the Ukrainians just want to crash because they like this food. The good food, that's right. What I, that's what I heard. Correct. No, this started way back when... How long? Um, way back when the first uh, ancestors came from uh, Nakaitro. Italy, and they was set there up a TV back then. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> they set up a shrine to Saint Rocco in one of the general stores, and then out of that grew the festival because they wanted to build a church in a parish. Uh huh. So they started having the festivals before the church was established, and it was not much different than the festival we have today. Isn't it funny? You, you've got that great Italian restaurant across the street, Johnny's, which is famous for great food, and Saint Rocco's might be more famous for great food. We are this weekend. Yes, we are. We are. Come down and, and sample all of our wonderful dishes. Mm -hmm. So where do, you, where do you guys get the Italian sausage? We get it from M&M. Um, &M. Uh-huh. M&M. An &M. And, uh, and Italian parishioner. Yeah, and we, uh, he, a, a member of the church for his life, you know, mm -hmm. and we get uh, the peppers. We go to Amish mm -hmm. and buy them by the bushels. We cut the other day we cut 109 bushels of green peppers you are good at this yeah. huh? and then uh the couple a week before that we did the meatballs and there were 10,000 meatballs so how do you yeah 10,000 meatballs 10,000 meatballs yeah that sounds great yeah who's this guy stirring the pot that's our pastor father james mayer he is really involved in the planning and execution and he is actually the official sauce taster and oh. he can tell you <laughs> in this that's he's the same that's our procession that we have after our he high, looks different with the hat he looks official right yeah, yeah. he looks serious um, there. it's our procession after our high solemn mass uh on sunday at noon uh, mm -hmm. in honor of saint rock and look at that what, what's that you spell that out with what sausage Oop. Of course. <laughs> very funny. Sausage, of course. That is awesome. <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh, the greasy pole. Oh, so tell me about the greasy pole. Well, the greasy pole happens on Monday at 2 o'clock. I think Natalie would like to do this. Um, you know, there are teams of men <laughs> and women, five, five, on each, on five men or five women or uh -huh. mixed teams, and uh, whoever gets to the top first splits a $2,500 How prize. high is it? It's a it's utility a, pole. So yeah, as high as a utility pole. So even though it's grease on, can you get splinters if you come slipping back I down? I think so. Oh, think that makes so. it sound like even more fun. <laughs> hey, let's bring Natalie in here, and 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 who's this? Who's this little lady over here? Get yeah, over, come, come on over here. Come over on. Here. This That's is Patty, Patty Burton. She has been the Peg. person behind Patty, the scenes putting right all this together. I, I she's she's so she's so Peg, adorable. Come stand right here. She is adorable. <laughs> Patty, how long have you been working with these ladies? Um. Two years, the most. Two years. Mm -hmm. Are you the big shot around town? No, no. no. no? She's the worker. She does a lot She's of work behind the I scenes. Behind the scenes. <laughs> I saw you talking to her over there. What was she telling you? Oh, we Secrets? have to give a shout out to Father, Father Chia. Father Chia, because he's very sweet and he says he watches the show, so that meant a lot to me. That sounds so, Father great. Chia, thank you. Okay, I saw, I saw you come. I, I saw you looking at the lasagna. I saw you looking at the at the sausage. Yes. But what about this stuff over here? What, what's going on over here, ladies? Well, we trouble. Have the cannolis, <laughs> the cannolis and the um, Napoleons. The Napoleons uh, we get from Coloza Bakery. Sounds the, Italian. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the cannolis, he provides the shells, but we have this little 94-year-old lady, Connie Barilli, who actually sits in the kitchen with us and fills those cannolis every evening. So, 94 years old, and she's the cutest little thing. Are those so. Napoleons over there? The Napoleons, yeah. The Napoleons yep. here and the cannolis. Can cannolis, and then this is really the oh, highlight of the zeppoli. The limoncello flutes, we forgot, they're in the freezer. Sorry. You didn't forget, I can go get them right now. In the no, freezer, this is honey. just homemade limoncello that we sell um, at uh, the festival. Look at those, huh? We got mm -hmm. one for each of the ladies here. Uh, no. This is for good luck, right? It, it is for good luck, but we were hoping. Ooh, they're cold. I know, and Ooh. that's, and that's oh, another that. dessert. The desserts are served in the villa restaurant, and the limoncello 
is a big hit mm -hmm. okay. after a nice Italian meal. But we have oh. to talk about the Zeppeli because people drive for miles. Oh. Thank you. People drive, people drive for miles to come I'm and get impressed. the Zeppeli. The recipe's guarded. Oh, Only a few people so are good. allowed to mix the dough and uh, it's just, it's fabulous warm. Oh, you three, who's the enforcer? <laughs> <laughs> Pointing <Seriously>. fingers. <laughs> Not I, no. You never Father believe, you never believe I, okay. There. St. Rocco's, it starts Thursday, all kinds of great things going on there. How much does it cost to get in? No admission. Woohoo! Yeah, no, no admission. And there's rides prices. for the kids, and there's all kind of outside stands as well. There's uh, gyros and all kinds of things. I like that greasy pole thing. Should you bring an extra set of clothes in case you, uh, you want to climb the pole? In case you last minute? Absolutely. <laughs> you could. Why not? <laughs> well, I came in for one reason and one reason only. They told me that I could join in on the limoncello shot. Okay. Absolutely. Hey, Aren't these you three do ladies, one? which one do you think is, is the one that's the bossiest telling me what to do here? <laughs> me. <laughs> I can say four ladies. I'm going to say, I just got their back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> limoncello time. Go ahead, guys. I thought we had a fourth. Did we not have a fourth? We did have a fourth. We don't okay, go ahead. We're good. I'm good. I'm good. You don't want to do it? He, good. Took, he took the this. dessert. Okay, okay, cheers. I thought you were Viva supposed to sip Rocco. on this, but you said no. No, oh, oh, Viva St. Rocco. Oh. <laughs> she said that's a lot. <laughs> it is. It is a lot. We can sip it. Viva okay. St. Rocco. Well, Chia, I, I hope we did a good job for you mm. today. And Father, Mayer. Father oh. James Mayer, thank you so Very much good. for everything you do. Absolutely. This was a lot of fun. It like, was. I have to work, though, now, unfortunately.